Lady Adeline of France, Satan's food traps to block Christians from praying and hearing God. Kindly subscribe to this number one gospel channel which is a trumpet call of God. This is what was spoken by the prophet Joel in Joel 2:28. In the last days, God says, I will pour out my spirit on all people. Your sons and daughters will prophesy. Your young men will see visions. Your old men will dream dreams. Beloved if you have a friend that is in witchcraft he will be offering you food all the time in order to make you heavy in prayer. If you have a friend that is a witch you will see that he will be offering you food all the time. This is in order to stifle you. This is a food that is bewitched. The purpose of this food is to make you heavy so that you will not be able to pray. For if you maintain a dedicated prayer life you will see visions, dreams, and revelations. As a result, you will discover his identity. And in order to stop you from uncovering his witchcraft, he will offer you food that is bewitched in order to block your spiritual eyes and ears. When a Christian married a woman that is a witch, he would be eating food that will blind his spirit so that he will not discover her identity. For these witches are afraid of spiritual eyes and ears of believers. Food is a weapon used by witches to prevent God's children from seeing their identity. Beloved we must pray for the food in the market and supermarket are mostly human flesh, even veg can be human flesh. The juice you drink can be human blood, even if it is not red juice. Therefore we must pray. I want to warn mothers here. When you cook food that you intend to eat for two days, you must pray for it even on the following day. A mother told me, when I cook I pray for the food in the pan. I said, but the truth is that when we sleep, there are unclean spirits that visit homes and contaminate food. Therefore whenever you sit in order to eat make sure to pray for that food, even if you prayed for it the previous day. The Lord told me, the enemy has placed a veil on the head of my children, covering their eyes and ears, so that they will not see and hear from me. But I am about to lift that veil that stops my children from having visions, dreams, and revelations. Many of my children are failing to have dreams and revelations. The enemy is closing their eyes and blocking their ears. And the Lord revealed to me one of the instruments the enemy is using to blind his children, stopping them from hearing his voice. This demonic instrument is stifling God's children, stopping them from hearing the Lord. Today I will reveal and talk about the instrument that Satan uses in order to stifle and blind and veil God's children. I will talk about world food, and the destruction that the Lord has revealed about this instrument in my life. It all began one day in the morning when I woke up. I heard the Lord telling me, My daughter, in these days, whenever you want to eat something, you are going to make sure that you pray. And you must make sure to destroy whatever the enemy has planted in that food in my name. Otherwise, the food will affect you and it will be stuck in your throat. I was surprised when the Lord spoke that way. I wonder what is that will be stuck in my throat. Days later, I forgot the instruction of the Lord. I was eating when I realized that I did not pray and I failed to destroy the influence of the devil on the food for I was already eating. On the next occasion, I remembered to pray for the food and destroyed the works of the enemy. And then it became a habit. When I went to church that very week, I was surprised to hear the pastor preaching and saying, I want us to follow the example of the Lord. He only thanked God before taking his food. He never cast out the devil or destroy the power of the enemy before eating. He only did a thanksgiving prayer. The pastor said, when you are about to eat, you just need to do a thanksgiving prayer. You don't need to take authority when you want to eat. I was stunned to hear these words from the man of God. The Lord just instructed me to destroy whatever the enemy has planted in the food, whenever I am about to eat. How come the pastor's word is contradicting the Lord's instruction? I was visiting a friend who invited me to a celebration. But when worldly music was about to start, I decided to go back home. I cannot be there hearing profane music. My friend told me, I cannot give you takeaway food before these people. Come back to my place tomorrow to get the takeaway food. The following day she called me. I said I would come but I was heavy for something was stopping me. The lady was insisting. I was stunned by her determination to give me her food. Few days after that, she told me, you must come to get your food. I said, it had been three weeks already. Why are you keeping that food and insisting? She said, I kept that food for you. Since the lady was insisting I take that goat meat, I told my husband, this sister is full of love. After eating this meat throughout the week, 
On Sunday I heard the pastor saying, you don't need to take authority over the food. You just need to do a thanksgiving prayer like the Lord. I don't know if our pastor is a witch. All I remember is that I saw him in a dream. We assembled in the church for prayer. I heard the Lord that told me, my daughter looked at what is happening in the church. When I looked I saw that the face of the pastor turned to that of an old man. And he had two eyes on the forehead. I don't know what that meant. Every time I opened my eyes he had a normal face but whenever I closed my eyes he had the face of an old man with eyes on his forehead. I became suspicious for the pastor kept saying, we don't need to take authority over the food. We only need to do thanksgiving prayer. I was not all right with the word of the pastor. And I told a brother by my side, I don't agree with him. For the Lord told me the contrary. He told me to destroy the power of the enemy on the food whenever we are about to eat. When the prayer ended we went back home. I took the goat meat and heated it in the microwave. As soon as I started to pray for it, I saw that I was unable to end the prayer. I destroyed the influence of the enemy and I invoked the blood of Jesus but I could not stop praying. Beloved though we are going to church we must build prayer life at home in order to be able to hear the voice of the Lord. Many pastors and false prophets are misleading God's children at the end of time. Since I heard the Lord's instruction in my own ears, I destroyed the power of darkness upon the food. As soon as we started to eat, my husband said, the meat is rotten. I said, how could that be? I could not believe it. But when I tried the food it was definitely rotten. Nevertheless, I ate the first piece and the second and as I was about to eat the third piece of meat, I wondered why am I eating rotten meat. I threw all the meat in the bin. One hour later there was convulsion in my stomach. And when I went to the toilet it was diarrhea. Every five minutes I was going to the toilet and water was dripping from me. I wonder what it was. I actually slept all night in the toilet on that chair that I brought from the closet. At 4 a.m. in the night, I said if this diarrhea continues, I will have to go to the hospital. I have never seen anything like this. At 5 a.m. the diarrhea stopped. Then I went to wash. When I was about to sleep I heard the Lord speaking to me. He said, My daughter, you see why I told you to take authority over the food you eat. When you prayed for the food I caused the food to rot because of your prayer. So that you will not eat it. But you did not understand me. That's why you ate it. But since you prayed before eating I followed that food in your stomach and I poured out my water to clean all of your body. So that this food will not destroy you. For if you had not prayed, the food would have caused you harm. I began to wonder why did the Lord said the food would have destroyed me. What does it mean? Is my friend trying to transmit me the spirit of witchcraft? Brother many are not having dreams when they sleep. A child of God got to be able to dream and remember his dream. If you are not dreaming even after prayer, you must have an issue. I spent two weeks without dreaming. I thought this is not right. I decided to spend three days of fasting and prayer. I suspected that the enemy has placed a veil on my head so that I will not see and hear the Lord. On the first day of the prayer campaign, I saw that I was eating in a dream. We all know that eating in the dream is not good. I saw that I was like in a makeshift restaurant. I asked the woman that was serving food. She brought a huge plate with the huge meat of a cow. I took one piece of meat and I ate. When I was about to take the second portion of meat I asked the lady, please tell me the truth what is this meat. The lady laughed and said, all right, this meat is human flesh. The part you have eaten is the human thigh. I said, what? Exclamation mark exclamation mark quote. Immediately I took the plate and I held it in my hand. I said, Lord, here is the food they are cooking for human beings in a restaurant. They are making people eat human flesh. Lord, how can your children eat human flesh and be able to hear your voice and see visions? It won't be possible. We cannot eat human flesh and be able to hear your voice and see vision and dreams. Lord how can you give dream, revelation and vision to your people if they are eating human meat? The Lord said, this explains why people are sleeping and are unable to have dreams, vision, and revelation. This is the reason people are unable to hear my voice and talk to me. The Lord warned that the people eating human flesh won't be in good health. They will be sick and they will be unable to pray. How can humans eat human flesh? This is the reason the Lord's presence is far from us. Beloved when I woke up I was in panic and I was alarmed. I said, I am a woman of prayer. Why am I dreaming that I am eating human flesh? 
Already eating in the dream is bad. It is better to dream that you are eating but you don't know what you are eating. I dreamed that I am eating human flesh. Immediately the Lord spoke to me. He said, My daughter I am the one who gave you this dream. Because you have eaten human flesh already in the physical. I said, Lord, did I eat human flesh? Of course, said the Lord. You ate human part in the day. That is why I have shown it to you in the dream. I said, Lord, no one invited me to eat in his place. The Lord said, My daughter, you bought that human meat in the supermarket and you cooked it. But you failed to pray before eating it. As a result, this human meat has affected your spiritual ears and your spiritual eyes. That meat has destroyed you. That is why you spent two weeks without hearing from me. You have failed to dream dreams and see visions. When my children buy meat in the supermarket when they failed to pray, in case the meat is human flesh, I would not talk to them. That is why I was unable to give you a vision and dream in the last two weeks. You were stained and made impure by human meat that you have eaten. The Lord said, Adeline, tell my children to pray and exercise authority over what they eat, whether it is vegetable, fruit, fish, water, and juice. They must pray and they must make sure to destroy the power of darkness in the food they eat so that it will not affect their health. Many of the food you eat on the earth are not good. If I have to take you to the supermarket today to show you the nature of the food that you eat, my daughter, you will scream in terror. Tell my children to pray for the food. Had you prayed for the meat you bought in the supermarket your spiritual life would not have been affected. Pray before you eat, my children. The majority of your food is not good. My daughter, given that you are stained and impure because of the food you have eaten, you must go through purification. First, you must confess because of the human flesh you have eaten. That has made you impure. This is the reason the spiritual gift of my people are blocked and remain dormant. You pray and pray but you feel like I am far from you. This is because of food. The second experience was in another church. One day we were to do a barbecue. Then a lady brought her own goat meat from home. And she began to distribute them to everybody. She insisted that we take the meat. When I tasted it, I said to the lady, this does not taste like goat meat. I know the taste of goat meat. She told me, it's because of the seasoning I have used. On that day when we were about to eat this meat at home with my husband, we prayed and destroyed the influence of the devil on the food. And when we tried to eat the meat it became saltier than salt fish. And we could not eat it. I said to my husband, yesterday I tasted this meat and it was not salty. What happened? Finally I threw the meat in the bin. When I went to the church I saw the lady that gave me the meat. She was following me and said, Adeline, I have meat for you. Just come home to get meat. I said, you already gave meat. She said, really did I give you meat? Are you sure? I said, of course you gave me goat meat. She asked me, did you really eat it? I said, of course I ate it. I was stunned to see that she was in great astonishment. I heard the Lord saying, you did the right thing to have thrown this meat. My dear, you must pray for the food. And when you pray if you see the taste of the food become strange don't insist on eating it. Lady Adeline of France. Satan's food traps to block Christians from praying and hearing God. Kindly subscribe to this number one gospel channel.